Thank you for joining this fast learner video. This video will give you an overview of how to activate ipsilateral reflexes in your 302 admittance meter. First, we need to review our current profile settings, which is easily done by pressing either the button on the probe or the display mode button on the 302 unit. We can now see that our current tympanometry probe tone is set to 226 Hz and no reflexes are activated. So let's get started and activate our ipsilateral reflex test. From the main menu, we press the down key once to move to configuration. In order to access the configurations, we select the right key and we will be brought to all our instrument configurations. Remember, we only want to change the reflex settings, so we highlight them and confirm the selection by pressing the right key. The first thing we would like to do is to set the reflex sequence. We are offered three different options on how to run a reflex test. For now, we would only like to perform ipsilateral only testing, so this is what we select. After confirming our selections, we will be brought back to the main menu of the reflex settings. The next step is to define the reflex levels at which we test. As we only test ipsilateral, we press the right key again. We can see our current test setting is set to 95 dB. We would prefer to test up to 100 dB in 5 dB steps, so we select the up key to highlight our preferred setting and save. We don't want to set up contralateral reflexes, so we select the left key to go back to our overall reflex setting. We are now ready to set up the frequencies we would like to test. The screen in front of us allows us to see which frequencies are currently active and being tested in a reflex session. Currently we have only one frequency being switched on at 1 kHz. In order to toggle through the different frequencies, we select the down key and you will notice that every time we select that key, we walk through the different frequencies. In order to activate 500 Hz for testing, we select the up key and thereby change the line to a tick and the frequency is activated. We continue with 2 and then 4K. We save our changes for the right key. Now comes the most important part as we now really add our ipsilateral reflexes to the profile. In reflex selection, the selection is at never measure, but we always want to measure the reflexes. And again, we select the right key to save our selection. Let's go a bit further down in the list. Reflex threshold is nothing we would like to change today. Reflex auto stop we would like to activate in order to stop testing a frequency when a threshold was found. We have reached the last point in the list, and as we don't want to change the filter, we select the left key and are brought back to the main menu. When we now select the display mode button again, we can see that our test settings contain ipsilateral reflexes for all four frequencies and that we test up to 100 dB. Thanks for joining us in this fast learner video about how to activate reflexes. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time.